New Harley-Davidson engines don't come around very often so the American Legends headline news for 2017 that its touring family all receive significantly updated motors featuring not just four valves per cylinder for the first time, oil and or liquid cooling, but also balancer shafts and slipper clutches is big news indeed. By the same token, however, these being Harleys, Yacht also be forgiven for barely noticing the difference. At least at first. Harley calls its new motor. In fact there's two. But I'll come back to that. The U2018 Milwaukee 8 as a reference to both Harley's hometown and its key new feature. The V-Twins 4 valves per cylinder. As such it's the latest in a long line of 45-degree Harley Big Twins. Succeeding the U2018 twin cam as first introduced in 1999, which in turn followed on from 1985's U2018 Evolution. The 1966 U2018 Shovelhead 1948 U2018 Panhead and so on. As mentioned it comes in two different forms. The less fared U2018 Bagger family, the Street Glide, Road King and so on, get the U2018 Milwaukee 8 107, which has merely oil-cooled heads along, with a subtly hidden oil cooler in its belly in keeping with their more naked look. While Harley's U2018 full dressers comprising Ultra Limited, Road Glide and Tri-Glide Trike, Receive the U2018 Twin Cooled Milwaukee 8 107, which instead features liquid cooled heads. With different cooling channels and a couple of radiators hidden in its leg guards. And yes, it is big news, but only once you get going. From the saddle of the Road King, the first tested first around spectacular Puget Sound near Seattle in northwestern USA. Everything at first is identical to the outgoing twin cam powered 2016 version from its classic U2018 bagger gate updated in 2014 switch gear clocks and so on instead the improvements are only clear once started up the new engine idles lower its potato potato exhaust note is more distinctive than ever its gear change is smoother, its delivery slightly more refined and yet with added urgency. 2. It's not a radical hop-up, we're talking a 10% boost in power and torque or thereabouts. But it's welcome and, yes, you notice it. You also notice the slightly improved rider ergonomics the new engine, with its slimmer primary case and air filter cover. Given the, although I didn't try it, you also welcome the far easier suspension adjustment, where one link knob now adjusts the preload on.